Don here in Florida, and since I took that new job, it seems like I've been bringing more stuff home than I've been doing at work. So uh, here's one that's actually pretty easy. And uh, for anybody that owns like the uh, Roadstar, this is the Yamaha Roadstar 1700. Um, there was a leak down near the base that the owner came in and told us that the uh, tubes were leaking and <clears throat> he thought it was the o-rings here the young guy that diagnosed it said oh yeah yeah that's what it is so we went out and bought all the or they went out and bought all the o-rings for it and i come on uh, line to put it together or take it apart and put it together for them when i took it apart what i found was that the o-rings themselves aren't leaking and the o-rings down here at the tappet block they're not leaking what it was was a little tiny o-ring that goes right there was flattened and hardened and that's what caused the leak but to get to that o-ring you basically had to take the cam block off the top of the head here uh, once you're moving that you can take the tube out and then you can take the tappet block off and then you can get to that little tiny o-ring Reminds me of getting to the uh, O-rings on the bottom of a fuel injection pump on a 32-8 cat. Oh my lord, a lot of work just for a little one little tiny ring. Anyway, the problem came in here when we were taking the the cam block off of here that holds the cams. This head is split. There's a camshaft block that goes on top of that and a valve cover that goes on top of that. And this is the front head the towards the front of the motorcycle. This is what catches all the road grit and grime and crap. And this bolt here, which was directly under the frame, was seized in, but I managed to work it for an hour or so and get it out. But while I was working this bolt here, it snapped. And so luckily, there was just enough room under the frame to get that cam block off of there and move it out of the way. And once I did that, I realized there, there was no taking this out on the bike. So, of course, I lifted the head and I brought it home. I might have been tempted to wash this out, and we did try to heat it. We, we did have enough stub there to get a, a vice grip on. We did try to heat it and get it out, but it, it's just not coming. Those, those threads have obviously deformed inside. And this head is aluminum, but the, the area right here is is so small that I really don't want to take a chance washing that bolt out of there. As I was disassembling it, I also noticed that there was another broken bolt right here. And I decided, you know, as long as I'm going to take this head off and put it on the mill, uh, we'll take them both out. So let's go over to the mill, set up, and take these out. All right, so we got some studs up here. And the bottom of the head, we've already cleaned that off. I did that at the shop, so that's all clean on the underside, so it's going to lay flat on there. I'm just going to snug that a little bit. It doesn't have to be cranked up tight. All right, so we're going to come and, and I'm going to just... I'm just going to take a little bit off the top of that. I want to leave a little bit sticking out. Same here. I'm just going to smooth that up. So let's go ahead and do that.
Soho. Let's see if we can uh, get that dialed in here. Get the uh, DRO on, so yeah. okay. I, I can't quite find the right size, so we're going to try this ball mill. See if that helps bring it out. That's going to be a lot shorter. It's going to be about to there. And it's a little bit more to go. Well, feels like it just went through. in their thread that's for sure I can I can see the minor diameter of the thread in there if you look in there you might be able to see it look real close you can see the thread just starting to poke through so this should come out fairly easily but it's not so okay as as I got looking in there I had to clean this up a little bit I realized that somebody had been in here before and they JB welded that in there so that bolt was not coming out that bolt was jb welded in place um it's funny because with the amount of heat we put on there trying to get that out you'd have thought that jb weld would have melted out or something but so now that i've drilled out to the minor size let's go ahead and see if she'll tap down in there a little bit and get whatever left is in there out i noticed that hole it's like somebody that's probably why it's JB welded. It looks like there's a little tiny hole right there where the uh, manifold gasket goes. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not. So we definitely didn't drill deep enough. So we may have just pushed JB weld down through a, a previous box botched repair. So let's go ahead and move this back a little bit here. I want to retrieve that out of there. Yeah, look, looks like uh, looks like we got all the original threads clean now. I don't know if that is supposed to have a hole down through there or not. You'd think that would be an odd spot, I think, for a hole. So uh, what I'm going to do later when i get back to shop so i'm going to clean that up and maybe put a little bit of jb weld up in that hole let it harden before i i bolt this back in and it's definitely going back together with never sees uh these threads now look much better so here's an original bolt right here so yeah 
and that's all as deep as it needs to go right there it's it's obviously a short bolt that goes in there and I'm looking down in it with a light and right about there is where the threads are, are stopping and that's looks like where they're supposed to stop so obviously somebody tried to repair on this before and, and uh, messed it up and this was the other one that was messed up I, I'll probably run all these holes but uh, this one here definitely took a beating I probably spent more than an hour on this easily more than an hour I started before lunch and came back after lunch and it was still whacking on it I, I beat on the head so bad I deformed it and then had to make a a uh, expanding tool to expand the head back open the head of the allen bolt so I could uh, get back in there with an allen wrench and work on it and this is all under a frame with about that much space so it was tough you know that that was a little stiff going in there but not too bad I'm gonna run all those holes back at the shop right now we gotta see about getting that out let's move on over here Okay, I'm going to go a new route with this. Um, it's the the uh, the owner didn't put approval for this removal. Uh, apparently, he wanted to cheap out, so I started it without uh, without the okay. So what I'm going to do Okay, we had pretty good luck with that last drill bit, so going in, so let's drill a little bit larger. Slow it down just a little bit. That thread does look pretty nice, so it's pretty close to the original size. So if he does want to put something in there, we got a 5 16 bolt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Allen screw down in here um, just to give him something he can take back out, put a bolt in if he needs to. I'm going to take the mill and I'm going to flatten that all out in line with the head here in just a second so let's get set up for that It's just about flush. All right, I'll get that. I'll get that in the cleanup tank at work. Get it all cleaned up and shows nothing in there. You can actually see rust up in here. This guy must have had that sitting for a long time. This has really taken a, a beating through its life. So, but uh, so I got an Allen screw down in there. If he ever wants to bring it out to full size, we can do it easily now. But uh, if he wants to put a 5 16 bolt in there, he can. There was actually nothing bolted on there. I just didn't like the looks of it. But uh, I've, I've gone ahead and uh, got these uh, screws cleaned up and we'll clean the rest of them up here in a minute okay so I guess I'm winding down on that head um, I retapped all the holes around here we've got uh, good engagement the uh, bolts the bolt seems to go in well at all points here the this one here I think I said when I was on the mill I was just gonna flatten it down and put that uh, set screw in there basically because it, it it wasn't on the work order to do so I really didn't have the okay to do that. I don't know if the guy that owns this thing wanted a, a rusty, nasty, broken off bolt sticking out of his head, but it, it just looked bad, so I thought I'd clean it up. Uh, anyway, if, if uh, he wants to use it, put something there, he can either drop a 5 16 in, or, or we can go ahead and, at this point, just re finish removing that and be done. We could even do this on the bike, because this part here sticks out uh, just below the tank, so you just pull a tank and you know get in there with a drill and, and pop it out if you had to I suppose anyway I guess that's about it uh, got probably half a dozen projects right in the middle and I can never seem to get to them at this point 
so hopefully we will. I, I picked up this uh, second Multiplaz here, um, won that on eBay for a pretty decent price. So uh, a bunch of parts didn't come with it, so I'm going to have to uh, either make or buy up the parts I need to have one complete working Multiplaz unit. Did get the head, uh, the welding head anyway, so I'm sure I can uh, service that condition. It actually looks in really good shape. The head actually looks in better condition than the inverter. The inverter I plugged in, it uh, runs pretty good. So that's another project I got going. Maybe I'll get that together and, and turn around and resell it. Um, I got a couple other things on the lathe uh, projects that I'm doing that I want to get to. And uh, a few other things in the back of my head. It's just time, time. I'm pressed for time right now. So <laughs> I guess that's about it. Uh, let me get back to the shop, get this bike back together, and uh, press on. Uh, as always, from Florida, Don out.